Okay, so I was just about to say, here we are, back at bloody goddamn motherfucking, oh, uh, pseudo-udo. But now it's egg time! Here we go. It's... Oh, God damn. Yo, what's going on everybody, and welcome to episode 7 of the Heart Gold Randomized Nuzlocke. Um, and last episode we beat the uh, Gym Leader Whitney in Goldenrod City, and uh, we lost two Pokemon. <sighs> but we still got Mogger, which is the most important thing, and as you can see, Mogger is crab dancing her little heart out. I don't really know what it's doing to honestly, it's a bit creepy, but... That's all good. The next thing we need to do is uh, go and get some encounters to build our team back up. Because at the minute, all we have is Mogger, who is looking pretty beastly, to be fair. She's holding a um, amulet coin. And then we also got our egg, which sounds can be heard coming inside. It's going to hatch soon. So I'm thinking this episode or next, we should be getting whatever's in that egg. So that could be decent as well. I'm also pretty sure, although I could be wrong, that this guy here is the guy that's got a Pokemon that we can have for free. I received this letter the other day from a friend of mine. Here's the reply that I wrote. I'm stuck here and wondering if you could deliver it. He's on 31. Yes, I will deliver it. Thanks. So I got a Spearow with mail. However, if we have a look, it should be randomised or something. It's a Golem! No way! That's awesome! And it's level 20! And it's holding grass mail, which I don't care about. That's cool. The only problem there is it's got self-destruct. So we've got to be careful not to use that. In fact, I might try and teach it something straight away. To over... Uh, to learn over that. That is a good Pokemon to get as a random encounter. Multi-type changes type to match its health plate. Could be useful if I get a decent plate for it. Um, oh, what to do with you then, eh? Well, I mean, obviously I'm not taking it to his friend because I want to keep the Pokemon. So, what we will do instead is... Uh, have a look what item I can give it to make it a little bit better. I'm thinking... I haven't got a plate for it, really. It might just be like... Oh, I don't really seem to have anything. It's just randomly good to every Pokemon. It doesn't have any flying type moves, so that's pretty useful. Fist plate, super repel, scene sense, focus band. Oh yeah, we might maybe we'll give it focus band. That could be pretty good. Or quick claw. Oh yeah, because it's quite a slow Pokemon, so actually that might quick claw might be good. Let it hit first now and again. Yeah, I want to remove the mail. Like I was thinking, you give it the mail. Oh. Mail, take. Send the remove mail to yes. Thanks. And now. I give it the quick claw. Cool. Um, let's have a quick look at our HMs uh, and TMs because. Oh no, I've not got any new HMs, but. Drain Punch could be decent. Or Ancient Power, that's a rock type move. And he can learn it. We'll learn that over self destruct because self destruct, not useful for me in another block at all. Forget that. There we are. No risk of that happening now. Yeah, so let's just keep moving, I guess. If we go north up here, I'm pretty sure... Oh, no, I meant to press yes. I'm pretty sure if I go up here, I can go and get this uh, sudo Wudu or whatever the fuck. Somewhere up here. Uh, do we take on some battles? I don't know. This, I'm guessing, is a new route as well. Should we have a check on our... town map? And see whether or not it is. 35, 34, yeah, so this is a new route. And there's the National Park. And 
onto another new route there, 37 as well. 36 I already got something from earlier, I think. Maybe. But definitely 35 and 37 in the National Park are all encounters. And this is where Sudo would be, that Sudo Wudo is like there, so. It should be, should be alright, I think. Alright, well, let's go and do some battles and get some encounters. Let's take on this one. Are you going to the gym? Or have you been? Quite see I've been working out, I am such a big cake! Ghost for Shuppet, you are a ghost type. Which means my normal moves aren't going to hit you. Fire type moves are increased. And I'm going to go for Mud Shot, because I'm pretty sure that should be alright. Yeah. Lowers your speed, but I'm faster than you anyway, so I'm not worrying too much about that. Nightshade nice for good, sunlight is strong. I could do with a fire type, really. Thinking about it. So right now I'm, I'm a bit weak to grass. In particular. Yeah, fire type would be nice. Screech lowers my defense. Oh, there's the sunlight as well. Easy. Picnicker Dudley. That's a funny name for that young girl to have. Ah, oh, I was just thinking I'm going to avoid the twin battle, but never mind. Or the relationship battle, couple battle, whatever they are. I'll take them on. After I've taken this dude on. Camper Joe turns out Spinnerack. Mogger is going to sort Spinarak out with some wood shots. There we go. Back with a string shot. That lowers my speed as well. Oh, that does. Yeah. So we both have a speed lowered, so that makes no difference whatsoever. Wood shots are good in. Finished with Spinarak. I'm guessing with Spinarak being only level 10. We'll have something else on his team as well. Uh, I'm going to have some metal core. Yeah, I think we will have that actually. Power 50, action 95. Courage rate is still close. Vice grip, 500. Yeah, it's going to be a bootstrap. That's cool. Physical attacks. This guy's a physical attacker, so the more physical attacks I get, the better. Here comes Absol, who is what? Dark type? Yeah, so that'll call against you should be okay. Taunt. Fell for a taunt. Does that mean you can't move the same, use the same two moves in a row? It's like the opposite one. No, it doesn't, because I've just done it, so. And that'll call. Brilliant. Well, that absolute was pretty easy. Next. Azuril, water type. Staying. It's pretty weak anyway. It's like the pre evolution. Sorry, it's... it's like the baby evolution. Yeah, it should go down in one, and it does. <laughs> Nearly no experience for beating it because it's not worth anything. About these guys. Oh, please let me battle them both together. My boyfriend's weak, so I. Okay, I'm not going to battle him after, I'll just battle her. I'm bothered with that. Picnicker Joey sends out Espeon. Oh god, I love Espeon. You're so cute. I want a shiny Espeon so bad. Espeon goes for confusion. Ooh, wow, big move. Tally with Metal Claw. Not really that useful. So I can't take on another one of Espeon's confusions. So. Come to Kenya, we've got lions. Confusion. Can you not bothered? Shake that off, can you? Wow. And we will go with Rock Polish. Which is gonna raise our defense. Oh, you would get a critical hit, wouldn't you? What did it raise our attack? Speed! Useful. <laughs> Speed! Uh no. 
No, I definitely bought... Oh, I'm looking in the wrong place. I was about to say, I definitely bought potions. In between episodes. Don't go screwing me like that. So, super potion. Yeah, speed really wasn't what I wanted from that. Like... Can you slow as fuck, so it's probably made no difference whatsoever. Let's go with Magnitude. Oh, I am faster than it, though. So, uh, maybe it has made a difference. And down goes the spell. Perfect. Kenya gets boosted XP because it's a traded in Pokemon. Thank you. Right, I'm not battling him because I can't be arsed. Wow, that was kind of lucky. Do I want to battle this guy and go around that way? Probably yes. Oh, he's not going to battle me anyway, so that's cool. There is a battle here, I think, though. And Fanfit is my encounter for this route! Route, route! So, let's take on Fanfit. Fanfit is a... It comes a seal type. Is it a normal type at this point? It's got takedown, so that's interesting. It's a good move to have. So let's go with something that's not dead powerful like Rock Throw. See what kind of uh, kind of damage we get off. Oh yeah, I can use another one of them, definitely. Flail. Nah, he's not hitting me with anything. That's not quick, well let me go first. Yeah, that should do. Defense curl doesn't matter anymore because I'm gonna start throwing balls at you, my friend. Let's just try a Pokeball and see how close we get. Rather than having to move up to my Great Balls, try and save them for something a bit harder to catch. First ball, and we have ourselves a Fampy. Fampy. No, uh, no, no H in that. Fampy. So let's have a look at Fampy's typing. Ground type. I'm guessing it becomes Ground Steel then, so that's cool. Giving it into Fampy. Yes! And uh, let's just be basic bitches, and because it's an elephant, we will call it Dumbo. It's one of my favourite Disney films. Dumbo. Pokemon, put quirky keyboards on this, for fuck's sake. There we are. Okay, next move. Right, let's take on this guy, I suppose. Not this. Uh, Oh, I could have got a combi as my encounter. Thank God I didn't. Imagine the disappointment in my face if that was my encounter. Right, so let's switch uh, Kenya. Go and take on this trainer here. And then we can get our Sudowoodo encounter. Should sort that pretty nicely. What's going off here? Google, what are you doing to me? Being a bit of an idiot, aren't you, eh? Yeah, I thought so. Hmm. Whatever. I set a timer for when I need to be trying to finish the episode so it's not too long and Google's just being an idiot. Hey Google! Set a timer for 20 minutes. Thank you. Cheers. So let's go for Magnitude. Nose Pass is a rock type, so that's super effective. Yes! And Kanye, 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 Kanye West gets level 21. Thank you, Antoinette. You're gonna be like, oh, you want my number? If there's, if there's any weird ass Pokemon things happening around here, I'll call you. I feel like battling again, I'll be sure to give you a call. Oh, I don't have a Pokemon with cut anymore. Damn. Well, I'm sure I've got someone that can learn cut. I don't really want to teach it to my go, but I feel like that's the best option right now. And we'll get rid of Vice Grip, which is a bag of shit anyway, really. It's just a normal type move. It's not really that different to cut, so I'm not really losing much. Alright, next. Get through here, and 
the next thing we do should be getting our Suda Wudo encounter. And please just be something good. Give me a legendary, you know? Oh, I didn't want to get into a battle though. I can properly prepare for any Pokemon adversary. Well, Lordy fucking da, school kid Webster. Who has a bit oof? Well, I'm thinking Magnitude's probably going to finish you off, bit if I'm honest. Oof. Look at the gnashes on that thing. There we go. Easy. I don't think it's got anything else either. That's the only one. Come on, School Kid Webster, that was awful battling. Oh, I don't want to give everyone my number. Yeah, take it. Take it away. Now, if this is the only place here on Route 36 where there are encounters, then I might actually be able to get an encounter. Yeah, that I didn't have before. It's a large formidable tree that can be headbutted. The flower shop floor here. Listen, when I sprinkle water, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Here we go. Oh, wait, I did go into that shop and get this, the sprinkler, right? I didn't make that up. Oh, or I went into the shop and didn't get the sprinkler. For the love of everything, absolutely holy. Be right back. Okay, so I got into a stupid battle while I was on my way back. Let's take this shit on. I can beat Ghastly with a magnitude, right? Why has he got a level 2 Ghastly at this stage in the game? I'm just wondering. Now he's got a Ghastly on. At level 10. I feel like maybe this guy normally has like the same Pokemon four times and they get higher and higher level every time. Either uh, way, we'll just smash it up with Kenya. Oh, in fact, actually. Let's uh, switch in for Dumbo. I healed up while I was in here. At Goldenrod, by the way. Getting the pale, Whelmer Pale, not what it's calling this, is it? Squirt Bottle? Yeah, Squirtle Bottle. I don't know. Uh, what have we got then? Flail should be good, I think. Take out some bag of shit. Oh, and we flinch, of course we do. Oh, Flail really isn't that good. Say that we're level 14 and it's level 6. And it's also the evolved form of whatever the pre evolution is. So. Takedown's good though. We'll hit that a couple of times. One more. Easy. Ow. Thanks for ugly. You're so ugly. Deli Bird. Keep battling. Absolute bag of shit, Nelly Bird. I ain't scared of you. Present, be good. Oh, shame. Now it's a normal type, which means I can hit it harder, probably. Present, be good. Oh no, it explodes again. These aren't good presents that you're giving me, Nelly Bird. Present, be good. Hit me again. That's not. Oh no. Ah! Oh, god damn that critical hit! Oh, and the recoil, I just survived. Oh my god, let's swap out because that's scary as fuck. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh my god. Ooh. Yeah, we're alright. We're alright. Finish it off with a metal claw. No problems. Ooh, well, that was scary. Cheers, Landon. You sound like you're from London. Oh. Oh, glitching hell. Okay, I'm going to sort out the glitch and then go back to that fucking idiot up there and then we'll be right back. Ah! Oh! Okay, so I was just about to say, here we are, back at bloody goddamn motherfucking oh, pseudo -wudo. But now it's egg time! And let's hope it's not hard boiled. Here we go. It's... Oh, God damn. 
another fucking water type, and not one that I want. Right, okay, before I judge it too much, I'm going to have a look at what ability it's got, stuff like that, work it out. Ugh, that's so annoying. Goodness me. Hey, Google. What type is Core Solar? Water and Rock. Oh, you know what? Actually, that could be a good combination. Again, though, it's going to be really weak to grass. Hey, Google. What should I nickname Core Solar? Hey, Google. What should I nickname Core Solar? Oh, thanks. Nice of you. Money, 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 money. Why money, money? Coral Sun, Minty, Blueberry. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's have Minty then. Thanks, Google. Gotcha. Right, well, there's a Pokemon that I don't want. So before we get this uh, this bad boy, level one as well. Who can be bothered to train that thing? Not me. Route 36, egg hat, gloves to eat. What have we got? Sniper. Powers up moves if they become critical hits. Powers up moves if they become critical hits. It's got extra sensory, that's a psychic type move. That must be one of its egg moves. Well, you know what? That could that could actually be pretty interesting. So I'm, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna re reserve judgment on that. Maybe I might try and train it. We'll see what happens. To be honest, it might be one the other one that I put into the uh, into the daycare. If I ever go back that way. So, time for our encounter with an odd tree. What are we gonna get from it? something good because it's a good level i feel like it's 20 or 25 it can come straight onto the team we're looking for something good oh it's a glacium that's awesome yes 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 yes, yes. right we've got to get this thing oh do i just throw the master ball no no i can try and just i can try and just get it without having to resort to that so takedown's not going to be too bad against it it's not going to do that much damage because i'm lower level Wow, that's not doing enough damage, actually. Let's try Flail. I don't want to swap out to one of my stronger Pokemon, because I don't want to do too much to it. Right, let's hit... Let's hit Takedown again. Oh, I can't believe I've got Glacial! Right, okay. This is useless. Right, it's Ice type. So if I put Mogger in and go for Bubble Beam, that, that's going to do enough damage, because I'm a high enough level, but... It shouldn't do too much. Mind you, it depends what ability it's got. Metal Claw, that's not good for ice, because that'll kill it. So let's try a cut, that might do it. Sound Attack's going to lower our accuracy. Cut misses. Come on. Sound Attack again, this is not good. Is it setting up on us here? Has it got some good moves that's just going to start whacking out? Yeah, it's Icy Wind. Scary. Oh dear, yeah, that is that's a strong move. So it's not very effective. Here's the cut, right? Okay, one more cut, one more cut. Come on, hit this time. One more cut, and we're gonna throw great balls at it. That's what we're gonna do. It's good, right? Okay. Great balls, great balls, great balls, great balls. Come on, Glacian, stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Oh wow! Oh my days! That is not staying in the ball. Time for a cut. Oh, it's icy wind again, though. Don't crit. Yeah, we're good. Okay, here's the cut. And it misses. Fuck sake. Right, we swap out. Kenya's not going to be very good against the ice. Uh, I have no idea what to do right now. Right, let's heal, let's heal up Mocker. 
I was not expecting this encounter to be so uh, scary, awful, such a bag of shit. Let's just go for cut again. Oh, I see wind again. Come on, this cut needs to hit. Lowers my speed. I don't care about that as long as I hit. Cut's good. Ooh, right. Okay, I've got an ultra ball in my bag. Let's just let's just try that out. I really don't want to have to go for that master ball. I'd rather save it for if I come up against a legendary. Or when I do come up against a legendary, because I will eventually. Come on. Yes! Get in! Glaceon Armor Team! Glaceon is one of my favourite Pokemon. It's not great, it's not like the most powerful ever, but. Oh, look at you, you're so beautiful. Giving it into Glaceon? Yes! I'm gonna call you. Uh, glazed! There it is. Brilliant. That was fun, I want to give you this for entertaining me. I'm gonna get some berry pots as well. Very, very good. And some berries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Goodbye. Fare thee well. I mean, this is just an episode of encounters here. Because now, just double check there's no encounters on this side of this route. There are. Which means I can get an encounter here. I can get an encounter in the park, uh, which if I go through the way, I won't have to fight anybody to get in there. And I can get an enc encounter on Route 37 up here. So at the minute, I mean, it's looking pretty... Um... Erwin, fuck off! Warstone could be good. Oh, way up. There goes my timer. But because I've been uh, playing... The timer's still been going while I've been doing things off camera, so I've got... To... Can add another five minutes or so on. Right, what do we got here? Next encounter. Make it a good one. It's Wall Rain. I've just caught an Ice type, and it's a better one than you. I am. I, oh no! I don't know. That's not good. I will have a go though. I'll have a go at it. That's super effective. Take down. Do enough. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't know if you're worth bothering with more rain. I'm going to be honest with you. I suppose we will see. Very shortly. Ah, oh, and it goes for the freeze. It's just not worth bothering. Thanks anyway, War Rain. I don't often skip encounters, but... Why, why, why make, why make the fuss about it when he's... Nah. So let's cut the tree. Let's uh, write down that about a glacier onto my team. As well. Let's make a move. Right, so we make a move for the park. See what we find there. Then go for Route 37. And then we can... Get to Ecrotique City, and that should be enough. Uh, this is the. Okay, I'm not worried about this. I can just go straight through. There's no. I don't think there's a bug catching competition going on right now, and if there is, I'm not interested in it. So, there's people in here. I don't want to fight anybody. I just want to get my encounter and leave. So, my encounter is. Marry. Electric type definitely covers a big hole in my team map. So I could do with this. Not to mention that I can battle it with. Ah, actually, Kenya's moves is going to be super effective against it. So do I want to do that? At the minute I'm thinking no. What are my other options? Mogger, who although is frozen, if it does use any electric type moves, will heal it up, so that, there we go, perfect, so I can just wait out the, 
way out of the freeze. I've got a full heal though, so I could just get that out. But as you can see, it's not going to do anything to it. It's going to keep using um, Thunder Shock because I'm a water type. And it doesn't realise that it's healing me back up. Growl's going to lower my attack. Don't care. Just keep going until we thaw out. Gotcha. There's the couple of them. Oh, just one of them. Right, great ball now, and we're uh, good to go. Definitely. Stay in the ball, stay in the ball, stay in the ball. You know what? We're adding some variety to the team here. I'm liking it. Got another one. There we go. Yes. Perfect. Mario State was at the Poker X. Give it a name. Yes, I mean, what do you call a, a shocking sheep? You know? Sh shock, shock sheep. God, I'm so creative. It's called shock sheep. This one's going in caps because I'm inconsistent. Shock sheep. Yeah, fits perfectly. Thanks, shock sheep. Well, that's it. Get out of here. Going this way because I don't want to go up and through because I'm going to get into some battles I don't want to be in. Oh, like that! Why did I go down there? Jesus Christ. This is not what I want. Hit on the lead. Right, so let's go with... Ken, you can sort him on the out. Definitely. goes for revenge. Well, I haven't hit you, so how that's super effective, I don't know. Magnitude. Magnitude 8. Down in one, come on, because that revenge could be nasty. Not an issue. Down he goes. Dumbo gets level 15. Roll out! Yes! Get the growl for that. That's looking good. Kenya's going to go for level as well. One. <laughs> Roll out as well. What are the odds? Uh, and we will get rid of rock polish for that because I'm not a fan of that anyway. Works nicely for me. Victory bell! Shit. What's the best thing to take on a victory bell? Nothing that I actually have. Maybe shock sheet. First battle for shock sheet. We... Yeah, it's, it's not the best, but it's also not weak to it, which I think might be the only Pokemon on my whole team that's not got weakness. Oh no, I've got Glaceon, that's an ice type. Of course I am. Can we heal up Glaze? Shock Sheep can take a Vine Whip. Shock Sheep can't take a Vine Whip! Oh dear me, what an absolute nightmare that is. Oh. So now that leaves me with. Well, I can still put Glazed out there, so that's good. Oh man, I could have really done with that move as well. I'm thinking, oh, one grass type move, Marik's gonna be able to survive that. Guess not. Glaze got Intimidate, which is a pretty good thing to have. We'll hit with Icy Wind, which should take it down in one, really. And if it doesn't, I'll be very surprised. Icy Wind's good. Down we go. Victory Bell. You could have been a problem, but you weren't. I mean, you were, because you got rid of my stupid fucking Marie. <clears throat> Angry Wade. I mostly I breathe fire now. You are the one that I'm going to call the exception. I've taken every single phone number of everyone I've battled that wants to give me the phone number. Not you, my friend. Oh, I can't believe I haven't got a read on this I feel like I've probably said that about ten times already. I'm so pissed at that. Oh. I'll pick some bag of shit as well. Right, so let's get ourselves up to Equitique City then. 
There's another encounter for us on the way. In fact, I won't even get to Epicete City. We'll just get the encounter. Why is this happening? Why am I getting so many encounters? So many encounters that I can't even get out of this grass to get up to the grass that I want to get to. There we go. I know there are some items to be found up on the way to Epicete. I know there are some trainers to battle. I'm not really interested in the trainers right now, but we can come back from another time. What I'm most interested is in is another encounter, because now I have enough space on the team after I get rid of uh, Shock Sheep. So let's take a little look around here. Any items looking around. So we can get our encounter for Route 37 there. I'm not battling those twins. So either way right now, there are battles to be had. Looking like I'm just getting my encounter and calling it there. Oh, and it's a fucking reverie. So annoying, I don't want a reverie. Hey Google! Video unlock has been paused. What? Hey Google! What type is Remoraid? What type is Remoraid? Why are you fucking ignoring me? Hey Google! <laughs> hey Google! What type is Remoraid? She said that in the jolliest voice I've ever heard anyone talking about hemorrhoids. Hey Google! Hey Google! What type is Remo Raid? Not Lemonade, not Renault Raid. Shut up. Well, I've learned about hemorrhoids and I've learned about the locking system on the Renault car. So I would say that that was a conductive conversation that we just had, Google. Thank you. Well, we'll catch Remo Raid anyway, and then we'll find out what type it is when it comes up on the Pokedex. Remo Raid was caught. Remo Raid data was added to the Pokedex. So accuracy, blah, blah, blah. So it's just water type. It evolves, though, right? Into um, Octillery. Another water type, though. Uh, yes, we will give you a nickname, and we're going to call you... Hemorrhoid, even though I don't know how to spell it. Ugh, oh, damn it. Hey, Google! Oh, you're doing it again. Oi, Google! Okay, Google! Hey, Google! Now, fuck you. We'll call you Hemi for short. Oh, he's transferred to dead. No, I don't want it to be dead. Bike shop's ringing me. Hey, thanks for advertising my bikes. I've sold loads of them. Keep it. Bye! Cheers, bud. You're a good in. I don't want to... <laughs> no, I'm ringing my mum! Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, mum. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to ring you. No, I don't save my money. See ya. Oh, that's embarrassing. Right. I'm thinking there are no items up here, and I'm just going to get in another encounter. Okay, so, next episode, we're going to battle all these bitches up here, uh, find some more items on this route, and then get ourselves up to Ecritique City, where we can take on the Camino girls and do all the... Oh, no! You're taking the Camino girls towards the end in this game, I remember. Yeah, there is a gym there though, so we've got things to be doing. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Peace.